Okay. Hey guys, what's going on? Drew here, thatanxietyguy.com. With, you t with me today is my friend Leslie Gustafson, all the way from Colorado, <laughs> who has agreed to spend some time with us today uh, and talk about the topic of anxiety disorders and sex and intimacy. Yes, Leslie? Yes, absolutely. So glad so, Yeah, yeah. Thanks for taking the time. Really, really appreciate it. So I'll give you the 30-second version of where Leslie comes from. Leslie is a uh, clinical psychologist, correct? Nope. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist and a certified sex therapist. Okay, good answer. So I screwed up right away. <laughs> Strike one on Drew. Some people, call, some people call me doctor, but it's not technically accurate. Yeah, okay, no problem. <laughs> so, uh, so no problem. So let Leslie comes from that background of of therapy, and and you you had mentioned to me in a previous chat that you had spent some time even treating anxiety disorders in the past. I still treat anxiety disorders because anxiety dis disorders are so prevalent and show up in my office all of the time. Um, more specifically, early on, I was doing only anxiety and depression and bipolar, but um, I work with couples a lot, and also everybody walks in with everything, so, yeah. There you go. <laughs> so so it, it's a good combo. So Leslie brings that to the table and that specialization in marriage and intimacy therapy and mm -hmm. sex therapy and good. So. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the things that comes up a lot, one topic that comes up a lot in our discussion forum and, and around the podcast is the topic of how these anxiety issues, panic disorder, panic attacks, agoraphobia, impact intimacy relationships and people's sex lives. So it, it appears to be a topic that many people have in their minds, not too many people for comfortable discussing. And I thought it would be worth spending 20, 30 minutes together, kind of kicking it around. Fantastic. So I'm get, I don't know if this is something that you see on a, you know, as part of your daily travels or not, but, um, I mean, it's a thing. It seems to be a real thing. Yeah. The, the struggle with anxiety and sexuality. Or yes. Anxiety in general, in general. Yeah. For sure. Well, in general, definitely. And how it impacts relationships and intimacy and, and, and sex yeah. for sure. And I would say, I was um, talking on Instagram. I would say that, um, I often run into over time when I'm working with a couple that the culprit in fact was anxiety that was getting in the way and really? they could they couldn't move through it and they thought it was a bunch of other things, but it was really once the anxiety got treated with kind of the standard cognitive behavioral and medication uh, uh, protocols that they were like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm so different now. That's amazing. And available for sex, which was when mm -hmm. you're in a really heightened state, you know, you know, you and I have talked about it. Um, the, sex is the opposite of a heightened central nervous system and an anxious person. In fact, we can't even function sexually when we're anxious because we need to be re relaxed. Yes. And to come in with anxiety uh, in the bedroom at, at any level, but some of it's more manageable. But when it's too high, you can't even settle in to connecting. That's true. And, and so I would say it's a culprit for many, many couples. Um, a lot of times I see it more. I would I would. I see it a little bit more with women where it interrupts. Uh, men often make use of the anxiety, if you will, in a stress kind of level, and then they kind of act it out and it, it just adds to their sexuality or they take their anxiety and put it into it. Women, yes. women more often will get shut down by it and not be able to move forward. I think I've seen almost exactly that. And uh, my mm -hmm. evidence is purely anecdotal from people who are interacting with me, you know, okay. around the podcast. But yeah. I see that exact thing. Women will basically say, like, I've lost my libido. I've lost the yeah. desire. I can't connect with my husband or my partner. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Whereas men will often say, like, oh, that's a huge 